What's been really interesting to me is I've been involved with technology since before the advent of the internet, when we were on bulletin board systems and having relatively private communications. What's happening today is when we try to organize on Facebook, Google, and other uh, venues, there's been a complete suppression of the number of views that we get. And what is really incredible is that when we organize face-to-face, -face, when we organize in an encrypted manner, that doesn't happen quite so much. And I think that people are not, are not really identifying what is completely unseen. And it's the algorithms, it's the statistical analysis and the things that happen behind the scenes that suppress opinions and ideas. And the result is operant conditioning of entire countries. We don't question the three letter agencies because we've been operantly conditioned by the millions of views we've had on how good they are. In reality, there's a group of people around the globe that are just as effective. They are humanitarian and they want nothing more than to help people that have been suppressed. And the reasons for this, I don't quite know. I could easily say it's just to make money. I could easily say it's just vindictiveness or partisanism. I really don't know what it is, but what I do know is that when good people with good hearts are given a place where they can plan and execute good things, the benefits are global, which is why I have been a fan of pursuance since its inception. And I also wanna say that everyone is welcome. There are no color lines, there are no partisan lines, there are no job lines. Everyone is welcome on this platform to plan and execute things that will make the better world, the world a better place for all of us.